Hi, welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport. <laughs> I'm Jackie Hunter. And she is so nervous of me, right? Look, with that beautiful baby, right? <laughs> Couldn't possibly make you nervous. Especially after a movie like this. Yeah, come on. This was, made, it was 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, I, I saw that movie uh, probably... When you were 11. No, I was a little older than him. He's 12. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking I was like, I think we, we talked about somebody earlier, I was probably like 13 or 14 years old. And I thought my dad was the coolest dad ever for me to that movie. I'm like, what am I watching? There was some other guy here who told me that his mother took him to the movie when he was like 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. I just remember being so shocked because, you know, I was as a kid I'd only seen PG and G movies. And then here's this. Like, what is going on? This is like the most insane thing I've ever seen in my entire life. What would, what would be the the most interesting thing that came out of the process of making this movie? Well, I think Bob Clark, Bob Clark's direction uh, enabled me to take my my acting skills to another level, especially in the second film where we spent so much time in the um, in the restaurant scene, doing the restaurant scene yeah. where I totally ridiculed the Mr. Gibbard. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, he just pushed me to another level that allowed me to like really open up and play a big broad So I always feel grateful to him for that. When you were making that movie, did you have any idea that it would be like that people 30 years later would still be like loving it like they do now? <laughs> no, but it makes sense. You know, you know, when I got the script, I didn't really know much about the film. And uh, I brought it home and I read it. And Bob had really wanted me to do the film after he had seen Brody. Right. And uh, so he said, well, take it home, read it, think about it. So I read it, and I was like, God, this is pretty raunchy, you know? And so I gave it to my mother. And my mother read it, and she laughed her ass off. <laughs> she said, this is just like your dad and Uncle Sonny. This is just the kind of antics that they did. So she felt like it was very authentic. And that gave me the courage to, like, okay, I'm going to do it. Did you ever feel at any point like, like, like look at something here, like I don't know, I really can do this. Something that you had a hard time doing, any certain scenes or anything. You're like, I don't know if I can do this. this is, can we rewrite this? Rewrite. <laughs> Not really. I mean, I felt like I was always able to play it in a way that made it real. Um, like in the, in the shower scene, um, like the crew would like break up laughing. And I would be wondering, like, what are they laughing about? And and Bob would say, Kaki, you are such a cut up. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the first time I'd ever heard that word really uh, addressed to me. <laughs> Is there uh, has there ever been a movie that you've done that you just wish would be as popular as Porky? Something that you are really proud of that don't you think you deserve it? didn't get the recognition you thought you deserved? Uh, well, I loved Rhodey. No, me too. I loved doing Rhodey. I loved uh, working with Alan Rudolph. I loved the... Uh, That's all the rock people that were in the movie. Oh, yeah, all the rock yeah, yeah. people. Meat Loaf, Meat Blondie, Love, Alice. Meat Love's wonderful. Yeah. Who? Alice. Yeah. Alice Cooper's big fan. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, as far as, yeah, we are having Metal Magazine and TV show. Do you, do you have any uh, favorite metal memories? Do you have a metal story you could tell us? Your time you know, in the metal world? <laughs> Mostly growing up with it, listening to my, what my son would play. Yeah. Like ACDC and I don't really, I guess you don't like really consider that being heavy metal. Yeah, I think so. Loosely fits in. You know, at that time, it was early, early. He's 35. Yeah. My son, so it was a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess the last and the most important question I have for you is, are you honored to appear on Metal Rules TV and why? Am I what? Are you honored to appear on Metal Rules TV and why? I am why? absolutely honored. <laughs> Please accept my, my, uh, my, uh, my honor to be <laughs> All right. Do you have any uh, plugs or anything? Plugs. Anything coming up that you'd like us to see? Or? Um, yes. Uh, I wrote a musical called The Pashina. The musical. And you can go to vipassana.com or reality to be a gas and check it out. All right, cool. Kiss. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> All right. It wasn't Thank so bad, you. was it? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah.